Um, so if this is the case. Kinda like that. Kinda like that. Oh! <laughs> Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Hey, you never need ask me twice. Maddock deck? They have Maddock in hand, is it? Shiru. That's what I always think when I see the leader, eh? Whoa! My friend woke up today and chose violence! Yo! They may have a uh, movement card. Okay. Hey, what's up legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. For today, I've put together an alumni deck. The alumni being these units here. The overall emphasis for our strategy is to generate as many alumni as possible later on over the course of a long round three. Leader ability that we're utilizing is Inspired Zeal. The order allows us to boost an allied Northern Realms unit by two and give it zeal. We have three charges. One charge will be utilized for Raphard's Vengeance, another charge for Seltkirk, and the remaining charge can be used for the alumni that will be spawning through Chapter of Wizards and also in some cases where we didn't get the patience values high enough to play these cards for zeal for their order abilities. Crystal Skull is a stratagem we're using. This allows us to boost an allied unit by four, giving it fail. So when we go first, some of the cards you'd like to protect really would be the mages for the most part. I mean, you could use Crystal Skull on Letitia. She's very important for our overall strategy. And also targeting the mage students that we have here. And Raphard's Vengeance is a consideration as well. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up, explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match, and then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for our deck. So to begin with, we have the Mage Students. So with, with these copies of these students, we basically want to commit them out round one, and they make our alumni units better later on in a match. So this card, Patience Ranged, Patience meaning at the end of your turn, if order is not used, increase the card's specified value by one for the rest of the game. So this boosting value will be increasing at the end of our turn. That's what patience is referring to. This card's being played ranged row for patience to trigger. If this card is moved melee row, it won't increase in patience. And as I said, the order is just simply boosting with this card. We want to more so ensure the mage which does damage for that unit's value to go really tall generally speaking it's better to have offensive options than to boost your side of the board because your opponent may be running control so try to get the melee row mage at a higher value but at least we want to get this aratusa student to patience four for its ability so that when we play the alumni out, they can play for zeal, okay? So we need both of these student mages at least at patience for value to play alumni for the zeal ability. So Aratusa student, synergize this 
with Raphard's Vengeance round one. Another thing I'd say with these student cards is if if we generate a good patience value by round one, I mean just look to play them all out round one and round two so that later on during a long round three practice makes perfect will play for greater value possibly pulling us alumni that we shuffle from deck um from board back into deck and vice versa so with the bernard students patience melee order melee damage an enemy unit by zero same kind of idea as the boosting unit this is just an offensive ability Try to synergize this with the crew ability of Raphard's Vengeance. And you may wish to give this card Crystal Skull when we go first. Because we do have Defender in this deck to give protection to Letitia and other ranged row units. Maybe for that matter, this student will be exposed melee row. Because of that 4 power, it can kind of die easy. So maybe you want to say Crystal Skull to give to this student. Uh, I have Siege Ladder in our deck as a bit of a tech card against movement list that we may verse zeal order ability we can use the order right away when we play this move an ally unit to the other row crew also boosted by two we're not really concerned with the crew siege ladder is really great against guerrilla tactics harmony list right now and in particular it's really nice just so that we can utilize letitia's order ability in particular if she gets moved okay but also good for the melee row student and the rage row student so you're going to keep this card on you depending upon the matches you're going to find yourself in and what kind of control options the opponent may have if you know they've got a lot of movement synergies take siege ladder with you round one we have pillar pillar is pretty much just a standard card i put into all of my decks um it's always handy allows you to purify a unit you can purify the opponent's defender unit you can purify opponent's resilience unit. If one of our units receives a status that we want to remove, like a lock, you can get rid of that also. So Pella's kind of a card you're going to utilize during a match depending upon the deck you're versing and what they have. Then we have two practice makes perfect. Shuffle an allied bronze mage to your deck. Then play a random bronze mage from your deck. Boost the unit you played by zero increase the boost by one for each unit with patience you played this game so as i said for this card to play for the best value possible we want to really try to replay the alumni and it makes sense that we play this out over a long round three so the idea is that we'll, we'll be targeting our alumni cards with this shuffling them back to our deck and then hopefully replaying them and hopefully that plays for really big value depending on how much patience we were able to gather during a match uh for some control we have spores this allows you to reset the power of a unit you target units with a tall boost that's what this card is for um it could be used as a good tall punish option at the end of the match or any time really during the match mahakam ale because we're running so many units with important abilities i've added another way to remove a lock outside of pella Ale allows you to boost the unit by 5, remove its lock. We're running double Dwim. I'm not really concerned with the melee row for this card, the melee row ability. I'm playing this for the ranged row ability. Deploy ranged, refresh the order of an allied location. We want to take both Dwims into a long round 3 to play with our location card. Chapter of Wizards. So the idea is that we utilize Dwim to reset the order on this, which is spawn on this row, a base copy of the last bronze allied mage you played. Now be careful with this order, right? Dwim is a mage. If we play Dwim, reset the order, and then click it right then after playing her, we just get another Dwim. You want to avoid that. So the sequencing is kind of going to be like you play Dwim to reset the order. You don't use the order that turn. And then you look to play an alumni somehow from deck from hand and once you played an alumni then you're going to click the order so you get another alumni right and that that's how we're going to keep sequencing both dwims so keep that in mind dwims just in here for this card and um this is how we'll get good iteran value because we've got iteran in this list too spawning with iteran right double casting contest 
boosting the allied unit by five if it's a bronze reset its auto ability and give it zeal casting contest is to be used at best with the alumni resetting their ability maximizing this card's potential in how high it can play at five provision cost then we got the alumni the alumni are pretty much um the star of this deck really this is where we're going to get all our firepower and um the the way they play out it's really going to come down to how effectively we can get the ban art student r2 is a student to stick on the board and you know how much we can greet those patience values so deploy if both values are equal to or higher than four gain zeal this card can play offensively melee row for damage defensive play range row boosting values correspond to the highest patience achieved by your ban art student or Aratusa student card you see so ban art student and Aratusa student only get one point of value that's what this is going to play for later so um yeah just bear that in mind try to greed those patience values as much as possible for those student cards you see depicted on this card here and the alumni really played good over a long round three as i've explained in combination with chapter of wizards dwim um casting contest iteran all those kinds of synergies we played out at that time for the most part i believe we should just go to generate as much damage as possible and then we've got like so much control through the alumni we can just destroy off whatever whatever the opponent plays best case scenario is that like for the ranged value we at least have four um patience you know working towards that zeal and then for the melee like let's try to go as much value as possible to just get a lot of destruction value so as much as possible try to at least commit the zeal condition for this card now we've got letitia letitia is another way to make our alumni strategy even better patience card as well order is range throw lock but i believe if this card is not range throw the patience value will still trigger which could be pretty good you know you can sneakily play um our movement card to replace this range throw to still use order if it gets moved keep that in mind at the end of this turn the patience value of all allied units is increased by one okay so that value increases best case scenario is that we greed letitia behind defender round one if the opponent passes play all the way down to four cards and really try to pump that value up as high as possible and then like click her you know when you've got four cards left in hand and just go into a long round three that's that's the best way to do this so just once again you're focusing on greeting and don't use this order unless one um boosting mage and one damage mage is down on the board obviously then we've got iteran the first time you spawn a unit on your side of the battlefield each turn spawn a one power copy of it on this row giving it doomed so my idea with iteran in this deck is that it's going to have synergy here with chapter of wizards it's got synergy with the deploy as you can see um and also the order the idea is that we've got chapter of wizards down iteran down as we spawn these cards out iteran's giving us an extra mage of whatever we're getting best case scenario is that iteran gives us many alumni okay so you can imagine how much value we're going to get out of iteran if he can consistently spawn alumni with high patience values for us and iteran will have synergy with dwim working together there so chapter of wizards we keep resetting the order keep spawning cards through iteran through dwim that's how iteran gets us that value and um just be careful where you place iteran because obviously our alumni their abilities are row locked if it's going to be iteran range throw and you're spawning alumni's range throw they're just going to boost that way so place iteran wherever your alumni will play the best okay and just spawn out that way for some control we have salt kirk i don't mind using salt kirk round one to help get us round control and just shut down the opponent's plays because we got a lot of control later with alumni so order is melee row locked and you just get to duel an enemy unit use one leader charge on Selkirk. 
Because it's an important card. You don't really want to float this. Then we've got Defender. Defender can serve two purposes in this deck. I think our strategy is really significantly dependent on getting as high a patience value as possible. So for the most part, I like to play Defender as an opener round one and then play Letitia right behind it right away. And, you know, then you're going to commit Raphard's Vengeance, all that stuff. So it's more in here to protect our mages to give us as high a patience value as possible. But also bear in mind, Defender can be used long round three if we didn't get it round one. Still serves another purpose. Protection for Iteran and Alumni, not bad either. Then we got Raphard's Vengeance. Uh, I've got this in here just to give us a bit of thinning, a bit of tempo for round one. So the order allows you to play a bronze unit from your hand, draw a card. Most likely we want to stack this card next to Defender, next to Letitia, play it range throw, okay? And with the um, melee row mages, just thin them out melee row. Don't worry about the crew. Obviously we want to get that value there. So it's got a cooldown of five. Whenever you play a unit next to this card, damage a random enemy unit by two. That's crew and mages contribute to this. So as I said, for the crew, we're just going to be utilizing the boosting mages, defender, and Letitia. That's how we're going to activate crew this way. It's a round one card. If we didn't get this round one, you could still use it later because we've got a lot of other bronzes like the alumni and Dwim as well. Uh, once again, got Heatwave in my deck. Whenever I can fit Heatwave in a deck, I always will because it always plays for consistent value. So it allows you to banish your unit or an artifact, target your opponent's scenario cards, use this as a tall punish option, or just completely remove a powerful unit the opponent may have. Chapter of Wizards, Resilience. So if we don't use the order on this card, it will carry over on into the next round. Deploy, spawn and play Rune Word, which allows you to create and play a bronze Northern Realm Mage, giving it a shield. Best case scenario is that we get an alumni through this. That's if our alumni got high patience values, I guess. And order is spawn on this row, a base copy of the last bronze allied mage you played. As I explained previously, with the order as much as possible, just try to generate as many alumni as we can. And this is nice played over a long round three, early on into the round with Iteran, okay? For our consistency, we are running a Neuromancy, which allows us to play any card from our deck. It's an echo card, so we get to play it twice. I went with a Nero because it can help us pull cards such as this location, Heat Wave, Raphard's Vengeance, um, Iteran as well. And maybe it's a better option to use a Nero on uh, Defender and Selkirk as opposed to AA doing that. Because AA, we want to use that for its boosting value on our lower costed cards. So with AA, it's also an echo card. You can play this twice as well. Play a Northern Realms unit from your deck with a provision cost of 9 or less. Boost it by 1 for each provision below the limit. I don't mind using AA round 1 to get us cards like Letitia. Can give Letitia a bit of a boost. For the most part though, we're just going to be searching for these students with AA. That's the list. Now let me explain how to execute strategy for this deck. The strategy of our deck is really to spam alumni and to ensure that their patience value is as high as possible. So round one, what we want to do is play out Defender, range throw, play Letitia behind Defender, play Raphard's Vengeance next to Defender, next to Letitia, use the order, use a leader charge there. With the leader charge, we can thin out a Bernard student, melee row, give it Crystal sc Skull to keep it protected there because it's not behind Defender. Then what we can do is just play Aratusa students to work with the crew of Raphard's Vengeance. And really what I like to do around one is just play all of these out together. Um, because later on, as I explained, practice makes perfect. We want to have as good a chance as possible of replaying alumni later on. So in short, win round one, utilizing those combinations of cards. And you could commit Selkirk as well, if you like, Spores, something like that. If what we also want to do with the patience value of these mages is greet them as heavily as possible. So as I explained, if we if the opponent passes, 
let's play all the way down to four cards not using these order abilities at all and you know when we're at four cards then click letitia and just go into a long round three because then we've got so much control we can do through the alumni or boosting for a lot of points okay so over the course of a long round three we're going to open up with chapter of wizards or iteran first depending on whether or not you think iteran may get instantly removed so that's what we want to do iteran chapter of wizards get that iteran spawning value out through the location that you see here and basically we just want to play out the alumni right play out the alumni for control play dwim onto location generate more alumni through the use of dwim use casting contest practice makes perfect and then you've got heat wave as a tall punish option at the end of the match perhaps okay so that's the general idea thank you very much for your time and i hope you have fun watching the following matches We're playing mages today um i hope you'll enjoy my patience getting tested not developing mage patience which is what's been happening but this hand is not bad oh my goodness it's got to be for defender Them. The NG package. Yeah, man. What do you reckon of my, my card that I revealed? Did you like that one? We can take away uh, statuses. You can take all Siri Nova status and put it on it. Thank you for the follow. Whoa! Thanks for the offer, but I prefer to create my own cover. What the hell? <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know what they're trying to do, man. <laughs> I wasn't really. I was not expecting Iteran as an opener. <laughs> anyway, Heatwave becomes a threat to me because of their leader. <laughs> yeah, he's crazy, eh? With me, Thanks, you. Appreciate it. Subtle. I don't know what this deck's doing. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, I'm not French, man. I got no idea. I just did my best. No one told me, so I just just tried. Spells are a serious matter to be undertaken proudly with grace. Practitioners, you think? Yeah, let's see. Guillaume. Cool. Thank you. Hey, French flames. Oh, it's cultist. You're not, but you know that? Wow. Um, yeah, so because I wasted the heat wave. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity. Oh, so cook. Wager I can cast from with me foot. Guillaume. Guillaume. Oh, crap. I'll crush your eyes. What? Rubbish in, rubbish out. Forget. Not I. Where's my French people at? Bonjour. I tried, man. I tried. Um, like I said, no one told me anything. <laughs> I just got the card, and I was like, "Crap! What? From my knowledge, what would sound the closest for the pronunciation?" 
<laughs> and I just rolled with it, man. <laughs> so yeah, sorry if I uh, didn't live up to the French people's expectations. I love all you French people out there. Good time to click, click this. Maybe they have something. To die by your side, a pleasure, a privilege, an honor. Yeah, I didn't get no heads up on how to pronounce, man. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> I'm I'm happy to bring um some joy and entertainment to the French. Maybe they had a good laugh at my expense. <laughs> Maybe you all had a little giggle when I said it. <laughs> that's fine, man. As long as people are happy, that's what's about it. Cultist, ah, uh, cast played summon. Whenever you play a cultist, we swap a two. Stand and fight, cowards! We got some very big patience values. They're still playing? What? They're going leader from me, what do they get? Spores. Yeah, it turned out turned out fine for me. I got the good endings for most of those um, quests and stuff. You screwed up in the first playthrough. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, what's your favorite expansion? Hearts of Stone or Blood and Wine? Okay, getting a lot of carryover. Blood and wine, yeah. Well, uh, we got a lot of references to it now with these new um, cards, though, which is cool. That's what I love about these new NG cards. So maybe I take Pella with me into the long rounds, and we we purify, like whatever gets a ton of infusions. There goes the locks as well. We can kill cultists like big time, man. Just kill off the cultists. I don't really care. Looking for like the Dwims now, fella, maybe. These aren't too bad though. Dry pass card? Okay, we'll hold. Yeah, Blood and Wine was great. Card advantage. What about the boss fight with Caretaker? That's pretty epic too. He's nuts. <laughs> I remember Geralt's reaction. <laughs> when he saw its face. He's like, what the? 
Man, I love I love those games. Okay. AA like pulls me that even. And a Nero for like Twim. Oh, maybe I'm putting Rubbish in, rubbish in, please. Pass and forget. Not I. Heart of Stone, Chef Kiss, you, you prefer that one, huh? They want to dump all the infusions onto here. It's gonna go here. May and Nero for the pillar, I think. My new eyes do like them. You can still shovel. Been a while since I played it. Von Everick? Oh yeah, man. Yo, when you cut his head off and then he puts it back on, it's crazy. What's this infused with? That's exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> Yo, you heard him. He said kill them all. I don't know what y'all heard. I'm just listening to my boy out here. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll wait for one more infusion. Cultist or... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Here. Not afraid. You should. I'll give them two days before they cower in the tree. You need sleep. Oh, another test. So soon. Man, I wish I had my combos here. Dog Doesn't even look like they're running, running much control. This has to be for the offensive mage. Gotta be. So, can we warm up with a fire spell? Okay. Let's hope these can get up decent. Okay, chameleon. Hands a bit gold heavy now. Rather save it, but look at my hands. The waters of Broccolon. What's this playing again? Um, play a bronze unit from your hand. Body spirit, what need ye to flee this world ever free? Just work on getting the patience up. Can't 
Witcher. Yeah, I work for the humans. Better than working for humans. Okay, you're getting good cards out. This would have been good to kill. We can play one here now if we want. Getting to him might be bad. Is it on two? Still works with the crew. Traveling is an option, you see. One of the better ones. I got that to four. That's all I care about. I'm more focused on greeting this. Boys. Are we happy with that? It's on six. It's on six and we got that out. Dex, um, feel free to search up my YouTube channel. Find everything you like there. And thanks for that follow, appreciate it. Probably comes in handy. Oh, I still got Letitia. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Uh. Sure, am I playing her now? Maybe it could work with Chapter of Wizards? Workers control bait? I'm not sure. Yeah, something like that. I was just thinking the same thing. Maybe just keep it, man. So we could actually give protection to her, though. What would they have for control? Let's see. No one is born a mage. The vast majority lack even the potential. Dreads? I will not let this become a second Sodden. Maybe we want to protect Itaran over that. Iteran's gonna give us a lot of value, I think. Whoa! Alright, let's get ready for some fireworks.
let's hopefully go for the alumni through this. Our planet there. We'll be spawning. I think we want to play this back here. How's it spawn? Damaging six. Oh my god. Wager I can cast from with me foot. <laughs> okay. We got a lock there. It's a bronze reset it. AA is just going to be for an alumni. Six, can't kill it. Boosting by five. Let them kill that if they got Igni or something. Yo, what's up, brother Flo? That's things, man. Playing mages today. These ones we just greet to the end. anyway I think that's fine wow very nice win <laughs> too many man I think oh and slave six that's that's lovely um it's a very nice match for us so good man So where's the best place to stack in this one? Ranged again? Hey, May, we gotta keep a sense of humor, Dergy. Or we're screwed, brother. <laughs> we gotta you gotta take it in your stride, man. Content, you Otherwise you get yours. mentally burnt out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we gotta use humor. I wanted to go like Letitia and Nero into Letitia and all that. Uh, it's, it's, this is a hard match for us. Do we go with Raffards instead? Maybe. I'm playing it here. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity. Folks say they look like princesses. If only they knew. Yeah, what's up, Clemo? Always scary. Very dangerous decks to verse in NG. They're known for control. So, yeah. Always tough for engine decks to verse them. Like ours. See, we just got like these order ability units and stuff. I think that's why NG usually goes to the top. Just a lot of different answers.
I mean, they can't even get a lead off on the six. <laughs> it's risky. We're in a risky spot. Yeah, you see? Okay. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard! Is what it is. Anything I play probably dies to this deck. They have so much they can go joust here, assassination, whatever they want. Just a hard matchup, this one. <laughs> it's a pretty good value seize if you think about it, because it's growing for them. I can sell Kirk. Yes. Makes it even worse because I'm killing my own student. It's going to be hard even if I bleed them because I have like Nausicaa Sergeants and everything. Ugh. Okay. Long round, we just get smashed, don't we? Open season. <laughs> Shoot whatever you want, man. Hefty Helga's out. That's pretty big to get out. on three quite the mean your task living souls in your wake you near day you can get your sin yes nothing quite like a nice messy dissection it's very difficult to make our deck work if we didn't get the patience value up. Couldn't really do it in this one. Behold, new God's iron might. It's a bit too difficult. Stay forward. All magic will be regulated. 
Resilience. Should we do it? Opponent will just go for Iteran. Travel makes one modest. Let's one see the bigger picture. Hopefully they go Iteran, because I'm not using him anymore. I'd rather they go that way. And then we just go Resilience. Alumni not really doing much. I can just take it too. The revolution is inevitable, merely a matter of time. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not surprised. It's pretty much how this match should go. <laughs> I'm supposed to lose this match. <laughs> AA into that. Yeah, pretty much can't now. <laughs> So good man. This gives me time to work on my uh tolerance and patience as a person. My boots got sand up here teething. Nah, it's Nausicaa Sergeant time. <laughs> Uncle yeah, get it. Get it, my friend. If I if I click this, I'm giving them a nice engine. Can't play NR against it. Northern Realms. Nothing at all, you think? What about knights? Pretty dependent on round control, though, probably. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Yo. Oh yeah, I'm going down swinging, man. Go, duel him now. <laughs> Mate, you can win the match, but you can't break my spirit, alright? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, we pretty much lost this one, friends. There you go. Well done. They do not fall. Why do they not fall? Ah, them sergeants.
How strong are them sergeants, eh? Hey? 